Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you good? Hello, Graves. How are you guys doing? I just realized I forgot to use my fancy dog setup screen that I made for dogs for jobs. No! But today is Community Canvas Day. And I was thinking for the prompt, if you want to join in, again, there's no pressure, but if you wanted to, we could draw our own dogs with jobs together. <laughs> if you want to, there's no pressure though, okay? No pressure. It's just to help celebrate the book being out. So, so, you guys know what the rules are. Let me put the uh, link in the chat for you. And we'll have a little doodle together. How's that sound? <clears throat> Pin that. Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> You're eating banana bread, Sparkle. Ooh. You know, I've never had banana bread ever. Is it? Is it good? You didn't realize that the mouth moved? It's because I've got the microphone actually next to me for once. <laughs> oh, it's picking it up. <laughs> yeah, it moves. Oh, you made it yourself, Smoke? Ooh. It's something that you don't... I mean, I guess you could make it here. You don't really see it for sale anywhere. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever seen it for sale anywhere here. Do you just eat it as it is, or do you eat it with things? I was very naughty today, though. I made fried bread. I haven't had fried bread since I was a kid. Because it's really bad for you. <laughs> it tastes so good. <clears throat> so I'm not allowed to have fried bread for, like, another, like, two decades. Ooh, I'd put, like, Nutella on it, then, if you can have chocolate with it. That'd be awesome. Right, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Oh. If I come over here... If I do something in this corner... <coughs> What's fried bread, Sparkle? It's literally... You take a slice of bread... Put it in a pan and fr and fry it. <laughs> it's so it's so like low tech British, and it's bad. It's pretty bad for you, but it tastes really good. <laughs> it's pretty very. I also wanted to try and draw a dog with a job because do you remember I wanted to do like an author. And that, that one didn't make it in the colouring book in the end. Or like a book writer. Do you remember we did it? I think we did that one on stream. But I just didn't like how it turned out. So I thought like, oh, I might try drawing that one. It was um, it was a Borzoi, wasn't it? I, th I think we did. That, it was one of the ones with a long snoot. Hello, Riasha. How are you doing? You're like, long dog. Oh, I'm using the uh, pixel art one, aren't I? I don't want to be using that one. There we go. Then shall we use... What? Oh, there's so many brushes. Oh, I love magma. It's so good. Chiming in while you're at work. Ooh, I hope you're not working too hard. So if we start with like a circle, so we should we go for the, should we do Borzoi again? I just really like long nose dogs. <laughs> that's an old deer. That's a big snoop. Look at the size of his nose. Kind of looks like yeah, he's like they're like looking down. They're like. Mm -hmm. Hello, Walter. How are you doing? You 
know, I need to have a look. I can't, re I can't remember what a Borzoi's ears look like. I don't know if they're, you know, upturned or uh, flopsy ones. Let's go have a look. Borzoi. Oh, you have floppy ones, don't you, sweetheart? Your F What's an FMP? I, um, I mean, good. That sounds good. Warrior Cats? Oh my god. Everything I've learned about Warrior Cats has been from you guys. That completely passed me by. And it sounds amazing. Like, cats with lore and, like, uh, Harry Potter houses. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. Final Major. <gasps> oh, it's the big one. Oh, Boto! Are you excited? Do I, do I want to do big eyes? I kind of like big eyes. Because in the Dogs with Jobs book, I did like, you know, the little like vertical ones. It'll be fun to kind of uh, experiment a little bit with this with you guys. You can check. Hello, Artie Party. How you doing? Cherry cake? Really? Oh my god, you guys are so good at baking. I wish I was good at baking. I mean, I can just about, I can just about, like, cook stuff without burning it. That's, uh, <laughs> that's my claim to fame. Well, and I feel like if there were going to be, like, an author or something, they'd have some, like, cute glasses, too. Maybe some circle ones, like our Steph has. Oh, hello, it's a baby. It just means you've tried. I don't know, I bet you guys are good at baking. Oh my god, I was such a multitasking legend today. I, uh was making breakfast and I managed to clean the whole kitchen and like time it perfectly so when like the kitchen was all clean the food was ready I was like oh my god like that serotonin of like timing it perfectly has stayed with me all day <laughs> I'm such a high I was like oh my god I'm glad you're happy. I guess? What do you mean, you guess, cat? I don't know if I've got... Have I got a pen pro? Oh, yeah, I have. And I should also take this as well to say thank you to because i know some of you guys in the chat have uh to say thank you to you guys who have bought dogs with jobs and you've posted it as well and said look it's here it's like oh so exciting thank you get another interview god it's moving so quick for you now boto i hope your interviews and stuff are going well Saturday, you were like, oh my god. I hope you enjoy it. I just realized if they're not they're not reading the book, they're it's like me reading a book. I'm looking out into space. <laughs> oh and thank you, Pocket. Then yeah, like I say, only it's one of those things, you know, only get it if you're able to, you know. Don't go don't go don't go without something to get that jeez. There we go. Oh, I sure do love reading. Me, me in a in, in an alternate universe. I love to read. Reading is the well. It opens the door to adventure. Oh, something's adorable, as a baby. Oh, 
Oh, you send the re oh, Bodo. Well, that's potentially good news. Like if they can review it and look at the one that you intended, they still might let you in. So that that is like potentially good news. Well, what about a nice scar? Oh, and if you can send some uh, good vibes for Steph today, she's uh, she's in bed. She's having a pretty rough day today. She's all like tired and achy, and it's uh, getting her down. So what I've done is I uh, made the bed and I changed all the sheets and made it all like clean and stuff, and put her to bed and said, "Look, you can just come in. You just come in if you feel up to it." And when I checked on her just before starting, she was like fast asleep, so <laughs> she might join us. She might not. We'll see. But I've tried to make her as cozy as I can. Chamomile says dogs. It is. <laughs> it, it sure is. It is dogs. This doesn't look like an author. This would probably class more as like a, a librarian, maybe. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't do a librarian dog. That would have been really fun to do. But like I say, if this one does do good, um, I'll, pro I'll probably do another one. You drawn a normal dog vote, are you for real? And they can wear like a big cozy jumper thing too. Oh, cozy. I think I'm drawing like cozy things today because th this morning when I woke up, I uh, I opened the curtains in the window. It was so foggy. Like, jeez. Oh my god, an author and a librarian unicorns. That's powerful. I guess we could like. Although their ears are down, we could try and do like, um, you know, like a pencil took behind their ear. You know, like how, do you guys do that sometimes? Do you put like pens and pencils behind your ear? They could, like, I guess they could have one under their ear to try and hint that they are like an author sort of person. Let's, let's give that a go. Sing Guardian Dog. Oh! God, that TikTok was recommended to me again this morning. That one where it says you've died and gone to heaven, and God says someone's been waiting for you, and it's a dog running towards you. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> oh god! God, I love that video. Maybe that's why it got recommended to me again, because yesterday I watched it like a million times. Making sure you can cross the road. Is that like a real thing? Like, I probably would have learned how to cross the road a lot quicker if um there was a dog showing me how. The algorithm has an easy dog? Oh my god, cat. It's like, if it's like a guinea pig or like a cute animal or something, it's gonna get watched at least a couple of times. Oh, a builder one would be good, Ethan, yeah. It was fun doing the whole process of it on stream and stuff. Because I felt like we kind of like fed off each other's like inspirations. I mean, like, oh, we could do this. Oh, and they could be doing this thing. And it was really fun. I really enjoyed that bit. <gasps> you got to oh, Ethan, that's going to be amazing. I remember when you went last year. I hope you have a good time. Do you guys remember those how to draw manga books? 
they can be reading one of them. Maybe they, they could be an illustrator instead. You go to Craft... Hey, Rethan! Go, go to what you enjoy. Craft sounds awesome. Hello, Lexi, how are you doing? That can be a wee chick, oh my god. What, what's this? Oh! Oh, it's a baby! Is that Boron and Boric? Are they anime women? <laughs> Illustrator, not depicted. Illustrate. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you guys all draw regularly, right? You know, eyes emoji. You guys always draw, right? If my sister gets this house, she'd be one. Oh, Lexi, that'll be interesting. Steph and I like uh, sometimes dream of that, like having somewhere where it's like uh, a dedicated place to do art and stuff. We're like, because oh, we've never had that. Do -do -do. Should we should do some like flowers or something here. <gasps> Lexi, that's gonna be so cool. How many sides to stop signs have? I think it's eight, isn't it? I think. Or is it it's like that, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it should be eight. You know, you know how I know that off the top of my head? It's because when I uh, watched a lot of wrestling as a kid, they would hit each other with stop signs. I've seen so many. Oh, there we go. This person can be holding a pen. There we go. Whoa. Playing Call of Lamb. A few of you guys have been enjoying playing Call of Lamb, so I don't mind. I've never played it myself, but I don't mind. I just appreciate that you guys are here. You can play or do whatever you want, really. Or is it oh let's have a let's zoom out and have a look, yeah. Oh these are so good! <gasps> hey Jack, look at that! Is he a detective dog? Yes! Oh my god, he's handsome! Does he like monologue in black and white? Does he say, I think I was on the case, but I think I was barking up the wrong tree? <laughs> and he says that he takes a bite out of crime. <laughs> and he sniffs up leads. I love this guy. <laughs> Like the bad guys try to bribe him with like uh, some sausages or something. That's really cool, Ejek. That's really, really cool. He would consider. <laughs> He's, d <gasps> He's dirty too. Someone needs a bath. That's so cool looking. 
<laughs> Some is not a rock rough, oh my god. That's so cool looking! It is rock rough. Oh! Rock rough bang man! Oh my god! I love this one. A ge oh! A geography teacher, Labradoodle. It's like, this is how rain works. Do you remember the rain cycle? Oh, Lexi, it's time to have a drink. Thank you. No, not the rain. It was the water cycle. Do you remember that? Teaching you about how the rain, it falls and evaporates and turns into clouds. The water cycle. Oh, my God, I love him. <laughs> you guys are so good at drawing, like, um, expressive animal. Oh my god, look how adorable that is. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my god, you guys are, oh my, this is awesome too. So, as you might know, don't worry, it's all good. You guys take your time. I'm always impressed at how fast you guys draw. Oh my god. Oh, Boto, that's adorable. You've got to stop if the poach is holding the stop sign. Let me just resize this window as well, because it's a little bit off to the side. Oh, don't freak out. I'm just moving it. Don't freak out. There. Now I can, now I can get all up in his business. That's such a fairy art style. Which, which one? This one? I think it's cute looking. Boto, if you sent this to a to a university and I was reviewing it, I'd be like, I'd be like, get in. I'd be like, you're more, you're welcome. Come, come in. Do you want the degree now? <laughs> Do you want me to mail it to you? <laughs> 100% a puppy. Oh, it's a baby! You're a fairy, Boto. Well, good for you. Oh, really? That's adorable. I love the style of that. Oh, look at her cute face. It's safe to be a furry, guys. It's okay. Oh, Pony, that's adorable. Oh, my God. Are they making bread? That's so cute. The furries are cool, yeah. I think furries is nice. That's an amazing bean. You... That's so cute looking. I always draw like the mouths down here. But it's like, you know, it's not very muzzly because like, um, you know, like with sums and what you guys have been doing, it, it would have to come like down here. Maybe like that. I'll give him like a really big mouth. Like she's opened the page. She's opened the page to Yowie hands. Oh god! <laughs> Why are they so big? You want to go to the second canvas? Oh jeez, Boto. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. She's she's shy because he's he, he's all about like working hard and being dedicated to the job, and she loves a man in uniform and he's wearing his high vis, and she's like, leave me in uniform. <laughs> <Call me. laughs> That's you saying that. Oh my god, it's a picture of Boto. Actual face reveal. Oh, that's 
so good looking. That's so cool looking. Hey, Jack, you're so good at drawing dogs. Like how you've done, like, the snoot and stuff. That's really, really good. God, all of you guys are so good at drawing dogs. I'm, like, so, like, impressed. <laughs> That's really, really good. Someone's been mo- Oh, <gasps> Campbell, no! I was playing that um, Shadows of Doubt game. Do you remember when we streamed that the other day? And uh, I threw I threw um, a brick at someone, and then th th it popped up saying that someone had been murdered, and I think it was me. I didn't mean to throw a brick at them. <laughs> if your game's got physics in it, I'm going to be messing with it. Pony, you haven't been forgotten. I've been on page four. See? I've all zoomed in. I was asking if you were making bread. Being forgotten. I think someone wasn't listening. Oh, that's so cute. Where did the bars are you? Do do do. Oh my god, Bobby, that's so cool. You didn't want to take up space? Oh, don't worry about that. Like I say, if you go, don't worry guys about taking up too much space. Like, I can move or remove mine if you guys need more uh, space. Don't worry about that. What other kind of dog could we do? <laughs> he can be a sniffer dog. Biggest snoot. Should we make him happy? Oh, I think you might be cute or happy. Reminds me of that dog that they had on Rugrats. That one was a really weird dog. <laughs> What's he bucketling? Why is he sniffing? <laughs> oh, oh! He could be a sniffer dog, I guess. With his gigantic schnoot. Customizing your avatar. Like oh, I'm glad. I was firing you guys at cannons with the uh, yesterday. I was experimenting a little bit. Some of you were willing. Other people weren't. <laughs> My god, this dog's hideous. What have I done? I do like his big nose, but where can I put his eye? Maybe if we have his eyes overlapping, so we do one here and one back here. Yeah, there we go. We can, we can have some fuzz too. He's a fuzzy boy. Make us climb ladders. <laughs> How are you guys with ladders? Are you guys good at climbing ladders? Oh, 
How can you be a uh, bad cat? Well, I used to work with a guy who uh, was pretty bad with ladders. He was really good at getting up them. It's so strange. He was re he was fine climbing up the ladders, but he was terrified of climbing back down. He like so going up was fine, but when he had to get down, he was so frightened. Hello, Starotopia. How are you doing? Climbing up one cat? Well, climbing up a ladder is pretty fun. You get to see things from high up. <laughs> Look at this stuff with his big stupid nose. Oh my god. He's saying sniff sniff. Oh. Smells like treats. I love this dog's big old nose. Maybe it's been stung by a bee. <laughs> Have you seen those? You know when uh, cats or dogs, they uh, sniff around in grass and bees sting them and their noses swell up? <laughs> it's like, wow, I sure do love bees. <laughs> oh my god, Sam, are you booping the snoot? That's like a real life-sized hand. That's how big his nose is. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> you changed your username, Lex? That's fine. Oh, that's fine. I still recognize you, don't worry. Fauna says, my boyfriend's dog got stung by a bee on the nose. And it looks just like... <laughs> it's like old Poach. He's just trying to explore. <laughs> what do you... Do you have to take him to the vet? Or does it natch... Um, mind you, if it's a bee, I suppose you'd have to take it to the vet to get the stinger out, wouldn't you? Or does it just go down by itself? They took her to the vet. Yeah, I would do. I would. I'd be so beside myself and scared. I would take him as well. Like, oh no! Stop my baby! <laughs> can dogs be alert? Well, dogs can have allergies, can't they? So they might be. She looked embarrassed. Aww. She's like, I'm really sorry. I got stung by a bee. And I was sniffing in the grass and I didn't see the bee there and it stung me. <laughs> it's like, oh, poach, it's okay. <laughs> Should we do it like a little bee sting in it? <laughs> I found something in my nose. <laughs> Oh, to meat as well, where you think, oh man, that must suck for a poach, because they love meat. I remember in this country, there's a TV show called This Morning, and it's like, um, it's like a morning TV news show thing. And uh, they brought on this couple who claimed that they taught their dog to be vegan. And the presenters were like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. Let's put him to the test. And they put these two food bowls down in front of the dog. And one had dog food in. And the other ones had, like, broccoli in. And the dog went straight for the meat one. <laughs> it's like, oh, jeez, Poach. You're showing me up on live TV. It's like, oh, I sure do love meat. Oh, Lex, no! It always sucks, doesn't it, when your animal friends have allergies? Because they can't tell you, they can't speak, like, human. And then you're like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, unicorns, I'm of the same mind. Like, if, you know, if they don't have allergies and stuff, they, sh they should eat, you know, what they would eat. You know... Uh, you know, day to day. They're like, that's not my place. I'm not a dog, so it's not my place to mess with it. They should eat what they're supposed to, in my opinion. The vets were helpful. Oh! Having a good vet so, like, oh. Having a good, like, vet who genuinely cares about them can take so much of the stress off. 
I remember when um, Bumble had like uh, he had a lump above his eye, and it turned out to be f it turned out to be fine. It was basically like a guinea pig version of like a blocked paw, you know, like a skin paw. And like obviously, Steph and I were thinking the worst and were terrified of it. And um, that was uh, the vet called Jessica, who uh, we said was Bumble's girlfriend because she was always like, "Oh, Bumble, how are you? Oh, my handsome baby!" And she'd pick him up and kiss him and stuff. <laughs> So that vet became Bumble's uh, girlfriend, and she was so sweet to him. <laughs> oh, Bumble! Oh, it can't be. That's awesome. He could sleep better knowing he was okay. Oh, it's uh, it sucks. Like when they're more, when they're more cold, it's like when you go to the doctor and they're like. You know, we've all had, I'm sure we've all had like an experience with a doctor where they're a bit cold and it's like, geez, why did you choose to do this? Why did you choose to do this job if you hate me? <laughs> Simpson. There is a dog in India called a a Abahawal? It's a, a oh a vegetarian one, okay. Oh that's interesting, Raven. A Bakhawal. Is that like a breed or I'm probably butchering the name, too. I am butchering the name. <laughs> oh, no. A mountain dog. Ooh. Let's go through three. Oh, three different ones. Did did you get it sorted in the end, Lex? God, that must have been a nightmare. Oh, sparkle. Yeah, when Steph had to go to the opticians um, a couple years back, she's very um, twitchy and uncomfortable with stuff like that. But he was so good. And even when, like, Steph, like, blinked and closed her eyes and it went all down her face, he was like, oh, that's fine, not to worry. A back a wall A back a wall back a wall Learning about dog breeds. Oh, this is my happy place. Oh, that's a bit, oh, that's adorable. I love that. Bear with a zoo map. Oh. They got you to an ultrasound and it was exactly what you thought. Is an ultrasound the one where they put jelly on you? And then poke you with like it. Well, it's not a stick. You know what? Is, is that what that is? Is it okay if you just join? Yeah, Lemony. I mean, the theme is dogs with jobs, but we always do a prompt as like an optional thing, but you can join in and draw whatever, really. You know, as long as it, we're, the only thing that we have to say, because it's on Twitch, is that it has to follow Twitch's rules. But as long as you follow that, yeah, you're fine. They're beaming magic. That's what it, it's a magic wand, yeah. <laughs> That's what it, because like when growing up, like, you know those TV shows that used to be on where, um... It would follow, like, women's pregnancies and stuff. My mum was huge into those on TV. And uh, they would always be poking, like, bellies with this plastic thing. And then, like, the baby sonar, you could, like, see it on, um, on a screen. That's, that's, the, that's the same technology, I, I think, right? Don't draw big naturals. <laughs> We'll get in trouble. Unless they're covered... Well, you can, but they have to be covered up. <laughs> Except for that one day where Twitch was like, yeah, you can draw them. And then they were like, what have we done? <laughs> I've... No, no it's just, uh, E-check. No, I've never had uh, an ultrasound myself before. No, Although, my mum would have had one when I was a baby, so would that count as me having one? I was the one that was ultrasounded, technically. But ever since I, like, uh, escaped out of my mum, 
Um, I don't think I've ever had. I've had x-rays. I've had a couple of those. <laughs> Diagnose you with baby. Oh yeah, I, I've I've watched like I've I've tried to educate myself, you know, because I'm a guy. I uh, I try to educate myself and learn about these things, and uh, I watch like a a documentary thing on pregnancy and what happens to the body and stuff when uh, you undergo that. Like it's terrifying. Like the baby like pushes all your organs out of the way and stuff. It's like Jesus. Oh. And like you, your heart has to beat like faster for two people, basically, and your lungs spread, and it's like, oh, oh my god, and your liver gets tired. Oh no, Colzo! What happens is, um, if you've got like the window up on whatever you're using, in the bottom right is like um, a list of layers, and everyone that joins automatically gets like one layer to themselves. So, say for example. If I, it's, oh my god, this is like blasphemy, me, right? If I did that, over, oh god, oh no, over Sam's drawing, I'd be like, oh god, no. But because we're on different layers, like, you can erase what you've done, and what they do is fine. Oh, hey, bro, how are you doing? But yeah, Colson, you'll have your own layer, so no, you should be good. You should be fine. You don't want to mess- Oh, that's very sweet of you. Three ultrasounds. That's so much jelly. I wonder what that jelly tastes like. Do you, do you think, like, if- If I got an ultrasound and some, like, accidentally went in my mouth, would I be- Would I be alright? Bitter, bitter, are you reckon? Like I, like I accidentally fell over and I ate all the ultrasound jelly. <laughs> mm. You've tasted it, really? Have you really? Have you really tasted it before? Give him some fuzz and he's, he's got his little paws up. Tastes like Cleo. Oh, imagine if it tasted like Sprite. And guys, if Sprite made like jelly or like jam, would you would you get would you try it? Please don't eat the ultrasound. <laughs> jelly. Yeah, guys, I'm not telling you no, I'm not saying to eat it. No, don't don't eat the jelly. It would taste bad. Well, okay, what's the best flavoured jam? Or oh, jelly, whatever you call it. What is the best flavoured one, in, in your guy's opinion, then? This dog looks like he eats ultrasound jelly. A strawberry. I watched a video recently that, um, during the war, this was like, um... A sandwich that someone would make. You know, like a soldier or someone in the field. Um, let me know. I'll, I'll describe to you what's on this sandwich. Just remember, it was in the olden days. And let me know if you guys would try it. So, it's white bread. So, you start with one slice of white bread. You put strawberry jam on it. Then you put cheese on. <laughs> then, you put, then you put corned beef on it. <laughs> And then you put the other bread on top. Now, does that sound good to you? Because apparently that was quite popular. Now, I've had all of those things in the past. 
I'm just trying to imagine them all together. Why corned beef? Um, I think it's because it came in cans. Like, because uh, again, this was like in the war and like canned stuff just keeps a lot longer. I mean, fruit and cheese goes together pretty good. You guys, you guys have told me about that in the past. And I tried that Polish bread thing that was really good too. Roll for sandwich? That sounds amazing. What do you think? I'm so glad you guys are fans of fruit and cheese, at least. That's pretty good. God, I missed that. I haven't had one since I had uh, that first one, Ichek. I'd have to, like, try... I don't even know where I'd get one from here now. Oh, hello, Jumbo. How are you doing? I think the place where um, I got the original one from is closed. I think I tried a Polish drink the other day, check. It was, like, cherry-flavoured and began with the letter T. I think it was Polish. Yeah, that's yeah, you check. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It was um cherry flavored. Oh, it was really good. It tastes like you know glazed cherries. It tastes like the like goo that's like in glazed cherries, but in a drink. And I was like, oh my! <laughs> I was like, that was really good. <laughs> Oh, Jimbo, that sounds really cool. Hello, Lago, how are you doing? I could see the weird sandwich being a pain. I mean, that it's all stuff that I could get hold of. Maybe I should, like, uh, try it sometime. Or a tip. It definitely began... Oh, I don't know. I think it might have been the second one. Because I think it did have a Y in it. Yeah, like T-Y... I think it had a Y in it, yeah, and it was like a little glass bottle thing. And the cap, it wasn't like a normal cap, it had like a ring pull, which was weird for a bottle, but it had like a ring pull that you like uh, pull it off with. It's one like that. Oh, mint and apple. Oh, that sounds amazing. Tim, Tim Bark. Yeah, mint and apple sounds great. Oh my god. Orange and peach, that's pretty good going too. Ooh, caramel apples. It did have a saying under the cap. I thought it was weird, yeah. Oh my god, I need to get more now and like share them. Oh, speaking of like drink and jam and stuff like that, guys, what's your opinion on um elderflower that seems to be a hit or miss for people because i think elderflower has a it doesn't really taste like anything else oh my god i want more tin bark now <clears throat> oh lemony you like it and so do you boto Elderflower. Oh, we got a lot of elderflower appreciators. Elderflower is your. Oh, really? Steph likes it as well. It was. I think it was uh, Steph that introduced me to it because I was like, "What the heck's this?" I was like, "It's. A, it sounds like a potion or something." She's like, "No, it's a drink, silly." I'm like, "Okay." Oh, the pigs are getting rowdy. Let me just go give the pigs some hay because they're getting a bit rowdy because they've eaten all their fluffies. You oh my god, they're jabbing the teeth at me. What? They're just mad at each other, not me. Whoa, you big hangy baby. Oh, I knew you were crossing me. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're a pair of these doing it, son, you know? Look at these big hats. Oh. 
Oh, okay, I'm back. I'm here again. Oh no, Mother, that's fine. Drinks up. I guess they kind of are, aren't they? Is elderflower hibiscus? Are they the same thing? No. <laughs> hibiscus is different. If we, because I think we're getting sort of more into tea territory now, and I am clueless, clueless with tea, guys. Jeez, because I've I don't I've never drank it. I tried it once. I think I tried it once when I was six or seven because I saw my mum drinking it and I was like, oh, you always drink that. What does it taste like? And she was like, oh, it's nice because uh, her and dad drink it all the time. And I tried it. I was like, this is hot and gross. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, how do you drink this all the time? It's terrible. Iced tea is pretty good though, you know, like Lipton and stuff like that. I can tolerate that, but you know, like tea that you like put milk in and oh, big me energy lemonade. <laughs> oh, God. Here in Germany, it's called Ho Holland, Holunder. Ooh. Oh, that's fine, Marta. Don't you worry. Oh my god, Marta. Coming from Germany, Steph and I got sent some Choco Crossies from Bergland recently. Choco Crossies. Why does only Germany have Choco Crossies? They could, like, rule the world. Because oh. Bergland sent some in the mail. And uh, Steph's like, you're not allowed these. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, can I have one? And she's like, no. They're like Steph's like favorite thing. And like over there, they have like um, the the um, what are they called? They come in like a square shape. Rit uh, uh, Ritter Sport, you know those chocolate bars that come in like the perfect squares. Oh, she loves those as well. I think you can get some Ritter Sport here, but not like all of them because they do loads. <gasps> oh, and, oh my god! I need to hit up a little again or an Albi. There, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a trek to get to one where we are, but oh, it'd be totally worth it. Oh, Lynn, oh, Lin, do you have them as... Oh, they're so good. Because um, there are two types that Steph really likes. And uh, you can't get them here. And one's yogurt and one's strawberry yogurt. And both of them you can't get here. And she oh, she loves them. And uh, Berglund sent some and she's like, oh, it's going feral over these Ritter spots. Pear chocolate. Ooh. Now I don't know because with me, I I personally am not a. F <laughs> That's an awesome bean. I personally don't like pears, like the fruit. You know what? Pe pears are like um to me. Pears are like the beta of apples. Like they were beta testing apples, and they came out with pears, and they were like, it's nearly there. Let's let's keep working on it. And then, like, apples came out, and it was perfect. <laughs> oh, Flappy, do you agree? Exactly, right? Like, pre-alpha apple is a pear. <laughs> a poached? Oh my god, a poached pear. Apple desserts are good, yeah, I agree. Apple pie. Oh! So good. Pear flambe. Ooh. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure. I know what that. What's a flambe? It sounds fancy. What? What's that? 
Oh, you set it on fire? That sounds great. Everything's enhanced with a bit of fire. <laughs> Some pears, when they are just the right firmness and juiciness. But that just sounds like an apple with extra effort. Like, Oh, blueberries are really good too, Mellow. That's a good call. I want, I want to know if you guys have ever tried it. There's like a, a Scandinavian one called Cloudberries. I mean, that just sounds like RPG fruit, doesn't it? But it's real. And Steph loves it in jam. Cloudberry jam. She loves that stuff. It, again, that's something that's not super common here uh, either. But she loves that stuff. Is it in Ikea? Well, we don't have an Ikea here either. I just saw it in a shop once and I was like, Haha. It sounds like a game thing, and I bought it to show Steph, and she ended up just really liking it. They have all kinds of berry. Ooh! That, this is, that'd be like my... Oh my god, I'd go to the jam aisle and just look at all the different berries. That'd be like, oh my god, yeah. Just leave me here for an hour. <laughs> oh, gelato is good. I've had lemon uh, gelato before. That was really good. Ooh, cherry. I've never seen a cherry one. That'd be... Oh, my God. I imagine that'd be really good, too. Hopefully it'll start getting warmer soon and I can get like an ice cream or something. Oh my god! <laughs> so, I, so, I read that, I can see it now, I read that as a dead bird. Like, that's the head. That's its eye. And this is the beak. And you'd like impaled it with like a crutch. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's the, that doesn't seem like something Sam would draw. <laughs> Pray for me. Mola molasses? What is molasses? I know there was like a big molasses explosion. What is molasses made from? Is it made from moles? Sugar cane. So is it is it because I've never tried it either. So is it is it sweet, or is it bitter? Like what what does it? Can you guys compare it to anything? Oh, byproduct of sugar. Sugar. Sugar cane. There should be no byproducts of sugar cane. Sugar's delicious. No part of the plant should be spared. <laughs> Just feed it me. Really? It's like treacle. Are you guys giving me an... I do appreciate it, because I genuinely don't know. Because that's another thing I don't think you can get here. Or, or is it least... Um, or, or is it least not very common? So it's like a thick, it's like a thick syrup that's sweet, yeah? What, what color, what color is it then? Hello, Jory, how are you? Oh, it's black. Also, oh, is it like tar looking? Oh, that's really interesting. Dark, oh. So I'm saying it's dark brown. Really visc- Oh, that's a good word. Viscous. I like that. And when you get, like, molasses then, I assume it comes in, like, a jar. Uh, do you just, like, put it on bread? Or bake with it? Or... Baking. Can, can I just, like, put my hand in it and eat it? Or does it need to be cooked first? Uh, 
If I ate a jar of molasses, what would happen to me? Oh, thank you for the follow as well, uh, Jury. Thank you. So I I'd be all right, yeah? Over the guy, oh, uh, what was the song in that? Was it like potatoes and molasses? It's very strong. You're unlikely to be alright. I don't like that prognosis, Ethan. <laughs> it is unlikely that you will be okay. <laughs> Polly Tommy? Oh no, I'll have to get one of those Tommy Ake Survivor t-shirts that you see. Can you dip potatoes in molasses then? Because where does the where does that song like come from? The leftovers. I could say mo lasses, mo problems. You can dip anything in molasses if you're brave enough. <laughs> dip me in it in a vat of molasses. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Mm. Molasses coated me on a stick. <laughs> I wonder if it was like, if you had like a big enough, say if you had a swimming pool of molasses, could you swim in it? Like, would you be buoyant? Would you float in it? Or do you think you would sink? Oh my god, Sam, there I am! <laughs> Leave me here. <laughs> A drown. <gasps> oh my god, what a way to go. It would take a long time as well. Because it's thick. Oh, jeez. Molasses flood. Oh, okay. If you were to, like... Fart in molasses. Would the bubble just like stay in there? Or would that float to the surface? Or would would it just like stay in there secretly? Like, hmm, oh, I could really go for some molasses right now. And it just it just explodes. <laughs> If you farted molasses, I think that's called diarrhea. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, it would stay in there. That's terrible. The old brainiac when. You wish your fart smelled like molasses. <laughs> I'm so curious about it. I want to smell it. Why are we farting in molasses? To see if, like, it would form a bubble sum. And apparently, um, it would be trapped. Like, the molasses would form, form like, a seal around the anus, and you wouldn't be able to. Does that mean if you died in molasses, your body would explode because the gases couldn't escape? I think so. I'm curious, Ethan. I want to get it. I 
I hate thinking about... Sorry, but molasses is so, like, fascinating to me. What would happen... What happens to molasses if you leave it out? Does it go hard? Like, say if I, like, poured, a, like, a little circle onto, like, a table. Will it eventually go hard? Oh, oh. You'll have a, a ants. But will it go hard? What if I do a huge circle and the ants can't eat it all? Isn't it weird that ants have like... In the summertime, the ants have like one flying ant day. It's like a convention. Why do flying ants only come out for like one day? It's in every orifice. They're not good. Well, if there was molasses about, they wouldn't be able to get in my ass. Because apparently you can't fart hard enough to escape. Why do... Isn't it scary? Like, have you seen those videos where ants get separated from their group and they run around in circles until they die? Isn't that crazy? I'll see you soon, Jim. Oh, take it easy. Me lost in the supermarket. Hello, Maitland. How are you doing? So, uh, with ants, are you guys? How's your guys' knowledge with ants? Um, when the fly, where are all the flying ants normally? Like, they've got to be somewhere, right? Do they just live underground? But if they live underground, why would they have wings? I had, um, one of my nans, when she was alive, she had a little garden out back, and... She got flying ants every year, and she hated them. So what she would do is she would wait every day by the window and, so, and watch for when they came out. And then she'd get a kettle and boil it and pour it over the mask. I was like, Nan, jeez! So like, it's the only way to get rid of them, son. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you're scorching them! Now learn. <laughs> yeah, now learn them. Oh my god. <laughs> Ant murder. At least she wasn't like one of those guys that you see on YouTube that like pour molten aluminium into their uh, nests. I was like, look at this cool artwork. It's like, oh my, oh god. She learned too many pet things in prison. And give him some little, some little. Oh! You sleep it. Oh, that's fine, Voto. I appreciate it. Flying ants are queens, by the way. Is that like, are we talking like, oh, she's iconic? Or is she like an actual queen ant? Slaying. Oh, we're talking slaying queens?
Slay Queen. <laughs> are they Slay Queens or are they real Queens? <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't helping me. <laughs> They're real queens, thank you. <laughs> Everyone's just saying slay and I'm getting confused. <laughs> the internet's ruined that word. I, I don't know. Oh, look how cute these are. I haven't coloured mine, have I? I've been very distracted asking you guys terrible questions. Oh my god, isn't that amazing? Let's have a look at these other pages that we've got going on. Oh, both of these! Look at that! Whoa! Is that like Rambo, dog? Rambo had a knife. If it is Rambo, wouldn't it be the first one? Ooh! <gasps> gay Rambo's having some gay tension with someone. You don't know who Rambo is? God bless you, Bojo. He looks really cool. That's awesome. I really like that. I was, I seen this thing on Twitter that went viral because I know we're all like different ages. You know, some of us are in like our, uh, you know, like 18s and stuff like that. Other of us are in our 30s, 40s and so on. And uh, it was this post, this uh, woman who had uh, a Tinder profile that had gone viral. And it said, um, if you're over 25, I have my own house and I am good at... Uh, what, what's it? I have my own house and I'm full-time employed. If you're under 25, I have I have a lot of riz and a fat ass. <laughs> it's like, wow, she's just trying to encapsulate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you cast your net out to get as many people as possible. <laughs> oh. oh, that style's really cute. Isn't that sweet? Oh, you guys draw some. Oh, what's going on here? Progress bar. <gasps> Twenty-five going on eighty-five. Oh wow, Peanut, that's so lovely. Oh my god, look at that. We've got like a whole scene going on. Isn't that really cute? Oh my god, Peanut, that looks awesome. <coughs> oh, is that what it is? Is the dog... Uh... Oh. He watches. He's looking at that tree thinking, man, it'd be good to pee on that. I bet there's so many messages on that thing. Oh. Is, is, that what, is that what this one was? Is he, is he therapy? No. Oh. I just think it's just a very soft, cute style. Boop, 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 boop. We've all had a, we've all had days where we feel like a crying pooch. Oh, that's cute, Sparkle. Oh my god, Bane, thanks for gifting us up to Pody. Thank you. Gat. <gasps> Boto, are you saying that, that cool word? Is it gat? You'll cry if I keep saying gat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
do do. Oh, look at all the different stuff. Oh my god. Lego, that's so pretty. Look at that. Detective Pooch, isn't that pretty? You like the therapy puppy? Ooh, you want to print a bit? Well, you got to find out. Like I was... Oh, uh, guys, yeah. Don't forget to put your um, your socials if you want to, like Flappy's done here, beautifully. Because uh, a lot of the times when we draw together on here, you want to follow each other and stuff. So uh, don't be shy. No one's going to get mad at you for like putting your, uh, your little tags and stuff next to what you've done. If they do, tell me, because I, I make the rules here. <laughs> me, I am the law. God, isn't that... There we go. See, Lago's... There we go, Lago. Your boy has a drinky problem? Oh, no! Is he, like, one of those, like, detectives? Did he have, um, like, a crime fight fighting partner he check and, like, he died and now he feels, like, um... He feels, like, responsible, so he drinks. And it's just, like, Fiji water because he's a dog. <laughs> Give me the Fiji water. I think you've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Rough. <laughs> what a cool dude. Oh my god, the food fight, dog. With the hat. Oh my god, I want to watch food fight with you guys. Do-do. Do, 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 do. I should make that one smaller. I've uh, I've been a right hog today. I've drawn this gigantic, haven't I? Do, 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 do. I'll make this one small, and then uh, the way, the other one I've done, I'll make that small. I'll give you guys some more space. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Do, 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 do. And then we'll do the same with this one over here. <laughs> oh my god, you sound like the portal thing, the little space, uh, space ball guy. Food fight was under future. Oh, sparkle! At least, I, at least you got a, a, a like a funny dog movie. My dog movie that my parents got me was All Dogs Go to Heaven. <laughs> It's like, oh, you love dogs? Oh, you should watch this. I was like, okay. <laughs> in the first five minutes, dog gets hit by car, drowns in the ocean. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Why? Although, all dogs go to hell, you know, watching it as, like, more of a grown-up and understanding it. It is a good movie. <laughs> it is a good movie, but not one to watch when you're a little kid, I don't think. It's very pretty as well. I like it, you know, like older animation stuff. You know, like when maybe it's just nostalgia or whatever, but um like hand drawn animated stuff, you know. When they use like cells and stuff like that. You wanna look at the therapy pooch? Oh. Here we go. At raining bunnies. There you go. So if you want to check out bunnies, that's where you'll find them. And who knows, they might make a print of that. And then you'll be able to get it. Oh, thank you, Cello. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Do, do, do. I mean, after the movie. Oh, Rethan. Would you guys watch all the dog, old dogs go to... <laughs> oh, I love him. Would you guys watch All Dogs Go to Heaven? If you said something... Oh, Bunnies, we were just saying about how cute it is. And uh, we were asking people to make sure that they put their uh, socials there. Because it's very cute.
<gasps> Homeward Bound Lemony. Oh my god, and Shadow Roof falls in the hole and he says he's too old because he can't get out and that movie totally has scarred me because I can remember that scene so vividly. He goes, go on without me, I'm too old. And I, Shadow, no! <laughs> and the cat that goes over a waterfall. Yeah, Sassy, the cat, she goes over a water. She survives, but yeah, she falls down a waterfall and an old man rescues her. And the old man's got the same voice as the dog. Oh, it's amazing. And the other dog gets hit, a uh, porcupine hits him and he, get, he has to get the porcupine spines pulled out of him. Watership down. Oh my God, Ezreal, no. They used to play it on the BBC, didn't they, every Easter? Because it had bunnies in it. And it's like super graphic. <laughs> the brave little toaster. Oh my god, that like has anger problems and he ends up like killing himself with rage. <laughs> and at the end of the brave little toaster, you watch him get mangled in gears. <laughs> Oh my god. There was a bad theory that Shadow actually did die in the scene when he goes, Oh, Reese, then I do not subscribe to that theory at all. That's terrible. And my theory is, is that he gets out of the hole and it actually turns out he's very young and he lives forever. Oh, Page Master was pretty good. Again, a bit scarring, but that was pretty cool. I also thought the Black Cauldron was cool. You know, the Disney one. I thought that one was really cool. Uh, but Disney are just like, oh no, we didn't do that. They, it didn't, it didn't make us millions of money, so we're gonna pretend it didn't exist. It's like, oh, Disney, have you seen what you've released in the past couple of years? You ain't making nothing anymore. <laughs> Your dad, your dad hates it, really? Oh, I think it's cool. You upset him by an impression of Gurgi. <laughs> Maybe Gurgi frightens him. It, isn't Gurgi like the little dog thing where he's like... <sighs> doesn't Gurgi like sacrifice himself in that movie too? Doesn't he jump into the cauldron or something? He's like... <laughs> Oh, Ezreal, that's awesome. Oh, really? Was the Brave Little Toaster age? Why did they call it the Brave Little Toaster if it was adver if it was meant to be, like, college demographic? It should have been, like, Brave Little Toaster's first spring break or something like that. Or, or like, Chad, Chad Toaster goes to the dump or something. I, I don't know. Brave Little Toaster does not resonate with college age. Like hot, hot boxing in the kitchen with brave little toaster. Oh, some that's beautiful. Oh, look at the little corgi dog. It's very pretty. Oh my god, is it a first aid dog? That's lovely. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's like actual slaying queens. Hot boxing with Chad the toaster. The ending scene in the dump of the Brave Little Toast is like, oh my god. Do you remember the car that's just like accepting, he, he's gone through like all the stages of like knowing he's going to die and he's just like singing about accepting that he's going to die. Oh, the Land Before Time's messed up. Oh my god, the dinosaur. He goes, Mama, it's a... <laughs> they did, they killed his mom. Why would they do that? Killed his mom. Yeah. Mom. 
Someone get that kid a mama. Yeah, Don Bluth, the bringer of trauma. He did that one about the cowboy mouse too, didn't he? That one was cool. I can't remember his name. Cowboy Mouse. And he also goes to America as well. Cowboy Mouse discovers America, the movie. Five. Yeah, Five. All. That's. Yeah, I knew you guys would know. And he also did one with um, a lady mouse in that was quite traumatic and it had an owl in. Because doesn't she feel bad because all of her family died or something in that movie? Secret of Nim, yeah, there we go. I want to watch that with you as well. I don't really remember much of what happens, but I, I remember as a kid thinking that the Secret of Nim was just really pretty looking. I'm gonna draw an anime dog. You have the VHS star? Oh my god. And I don't think I ever had any of uh, Don Bluth's movies on VHS. I definitely had 101 Dalmatians. Oh my god, I love that movie. I think I had Homeward Bound as well, thinking about it. Movies with poaches in. I was like, oh my god, yes. The true emo kid experience. Oh, that's what I want. Cartoon dogs, my beloved. Thumbelina. Is Thumbelina the one with the evil wizard guy? And um, the evil wizard guy has like a white bat. Or am I getting them confused? He has like a white bat friend. But the white bat goes from being bad to good in the end. Anastasia. Is that is that movie good? Is Anastasia good? I only know Anastasia, the female musician. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that movie before. Kanga, <laughs> do you love the bat? That's sweet. He had his own movie? No way. Which movie was that? Again, it was an animated one. Uh, which was the one where um, it was set in a forest and there was like this big evil like smog coming towards the forest and I think it was Tim Curry voiced it. Fern, Fern Gully. Yeah. T oh my god, Tim Curry. He's got like the best voice for like a bad guy. And when he goes, mm, spice. <laughs> but that's not in that movie. That's in something else. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> Would you guys be down for watching Fern Gully? Fern Gully made you scared of forest cat? No! Oh my god. Although you should always be cautious in forest. That's always a good idea. You don't want to be getting lost. He wanted to go to the one place that hadn't been infested with capitalism, and it was space. Oh, Jaden, that's so sweet. Thank you, Jaden. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. No, 
also get badly. Oh, ce cello! Is that the one with the giant like uh, pill bug, who's like hurt, and like she rescues it? Oh, lemonade! Yeah, I'll take a drink now, y'all. I've watched that one with Steph. That I think that one's really cool, actually. I feel like that one's really underrated. I like her glider thing, too. Oh, yeah, Tim Curry's... Oh, my God, Sparkle, he's awesome. He was in Home Alone as well. He was the hotel guy. Yeah, he was in Muppet Treasure Island. Yeah, he's been in so many things. He had a really nasty uh, stroke a few years ago, though, and he's been like recovering from uh, recovering from that. And so I think he was doing a thing to raise money for like his recovery or something. He was doing like Skype calls and it was literally just people like Skype calling him to say thank you for everything that he'd done in his life. And they really appreciate it. It was really awesome. Hello, Coffee. Oh, it's nice to see you. God, I wonder if I can make a difference in the world where so one day people will want to do Skype calls and say I did really cool stuff. By then, I might be really old and decrepit, though. I'll be like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Oddish, who I don't hate anymore. Oddish is cool. Me and Oddish are on good terms, okay? You've cultivated? Oh, that's very sweet, you guys. It's changed. Oh, Lynn, that's so cool! I liked it when you talked about... About, but I was oh I was gonna say is that about fighting? You'd have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that time on this, yes, I remember it too. <laughs> A global community, yeah, especially these days, it you know. With AI and all that bollocks, it's like uh, you want. Oh, I want to be. I want people to be inspired to do art, uh, you know, for themselves. I don't want the younglings to think like, oh, I need to just put a prompt into a computer. It's like, no way, you can like, you can like make it yourself, and it'll be so much better. Adamo, dick my butt. <laughs> DMs. D I thought that said DMCA, but I was like, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> I've made you a copyright. Oh, you guys are really sweet. I do really appreciate it. You don't know about better, Star Wars? Oh, Star Wars, I promise you. Anything that you create yourself with your own, like, imagination and hands will always be better than uh, something that an AI has done. I, pro I promise you. Time to change. No, that's a therapy. I just realized what that was. <laughs> Sam, you got some serious work to do if you want me to like Furbies. Ugh. I hate his eye. I can see you. It's like, how? You don't have eyes. Oh. I 
And that's it. That's very true as well, isn't it? If you if you're doing AI stuff, you are you're stealing as well. If you guys were stealing, I'd be so disappointed. Like, oh, you're stealing. I'm not mad. I mean, yeah, I'm, like, I'm not mad. You know, looks out of the window wistfully. I'm, I'm just a bit disappointed. You know, it starts raining. I would judge you from your person. Cat's done hard time and even Cat wouldn't do that. Oh, it's an honest baby. See, I can get along with him. He's my honest baby and I know I think he's cute. It's ever since we caught that Pokemon the uh, in the Pokemon playthrough. That our dish. And we called it Marta, who was in the stream tonight. Marder wanted to be an artist, and then it evolved into a glue. I stole your heart. No, you're just always oh, fresh sweet. I wonder if I could convince Steph to crochet an artist one day. I reckon she could do that. Oh, you're making a tarot deck, Staratopia? Oh, that's fine. No, that's, that's good. Like, not using the AI thing, that's great. And if you're outsourcing it, you're supporting, like, real people as well. So that, that's like a win-win. Especially these days, like a supporting artist, whether you know them personally or if it's someone's art that you like. What the heck is this? Is this an advert? That scared the crap out of me. What was that? Was that an advert for Spotify? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, that did. Where did that come from? Ask Steph to make a Furby? How about no? <laughs> Does that, I know, right? I, oh my god, I try to find ones that don't have them in to avoid that. Sorry about that. It's really jarring. Crochet a turnip boy. Oh my god. I'd love like... Have you seen those posts online of like... Um, I'll try and draw one really quick. Of like um, carrots. And they have like their legs crossed like that. I want Steph to crochet me one of those. Like ridiculously handsome carrot. <laughs> <laughs> crochet me one of those bad boys. So handsome. I, I just like, oh, look at the legs on that. Whoa. <laughs> do, do. So you give him like a little nose and a little like smile. Like, I like bones and and chasing the mailman. Oh, a Pokemon themed one, Star. That's a that's a really cute idea, actually. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> it looks like you went to the dog groomers and they stopped halfway through. <laughs> He said, no. <laughs> no. Oh, really, Coffee? That's great news. Are you enjoying it? I hope you're having a good time with it. 
I think learning to draw again and, you know, drawing things that you enjoy and what you like, it's, a, it's such a rewarding thing, in my opinion. Well, that's awesome. You should be proud of yourself for picking it back up again. Because like I try to stress in these that we do together, it's not about like where you are in terms of progressing and how good you can. I mean, if you're just enjoying yourself, that's the main thing. You know, if you're just having fun with it. I mean, I'm having fun. I just drawn this, this horrible carrot, but I had a good time. <laughs> It's really fun. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I always have a lot of fun doing these with you guys. Oh my god, Sam. Wow. Let's catch that, Oddish. Look at those legs. Mm. You imagine you walk into the tall grass and you see that sitting on a tree stump. Oh, wow! <laughs> Get the master ball. We can't risk it. <laughs> yeah, I stole them <gasps> from <gasps> Serena. Oh, that's a good that's that's a good call. <laughs> oh my God, Sparkle, you've given them heels. <laughs> when is that? That's a very good question, Cater. I really need to. Uh... Just pick a day and go for it, because um, it's been a while since we last did one, didn't we? But I've still got, like, the the ROM thing for it all set up and everything. We've still got all that. I miss the Pokemon. Oh, do you guys all miss it, really? Okay, well, we can arrange one. If you guys are missing it, we can arrange one. I've still got it all saved. It hasn't gone anywhere. We were doing pretty good, haven't we? I think we've got, like, when we last played it, I think we must have at least, like, uh, three or four badges by now. Although, in silver, you have to get eight, and then you have to go and get another eight, don't you? Yeah, we'll do another. If you guys are missing it, yeah, I'll do, I will, we'll sort another one. I'll see if I can do, like, an extra stream this week, then. See if we can uh, have a little play together with it. Oh, you guys miss it. Oh, my. Something useless, cat? No! Happy Clod Sire. <gasps> Cloud Sire. Yeah, because uh, um, they've evolved in the... Uh, <coughs> yeah, Pooper. Um, and uh, Pooper and Wiper. You haven't seen them, have you, since they were um, little babies? But they're both Quagsires now. And Pooper knows all these mud moves. And Wiper knows, like, complete opposite moves. Oh, that's cool, Coffee. No, that's what that's why we upload them onto YouTube and stuff. So you know, you guys can just watch them whenever you guys can. So no, that's no problem. Oh, I love Clad. I wish Clad Sire was in this. I think he's oh, his peak design, just a muddy boy. Mm. I will get you to love me. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, he's got like a long fly mouth. That's not how you get me to love you. <laughs> oh. Kissy. He's not. No, not kissing me. You'll get away. Oh, look at the babies. 
Look at that. Clod and Quag. <laughs> Just two bros. You're up to five months. Oh, Riesha, I appreciate you going and watching all the things that we've been doing, though. That's very sweet of you. Raven, turn a mo-only mode off. <laughs> Ray, why have you put it in a... <laughs> Does someone want attention? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, I think I think she just misclicked. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you found a one <gasps> a one point four. Oh, that's nice. I love how unicorn saying to put it back. <laughs> Misclick on the top. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry. It's, it's an accident. Don't worry. <laughs> Faber caster. Oh, but made in Japan. Ooh, I wonder if it was like an exclusive thing. That sounds awesome. I'm Wiper. I'm Pooper. That's adorable. Oh my god, Pooper would totally be a Clad Sire if, uh, if he was in the game. He totally would be. I didn't realize that you guys missed the Pokemon one so much. I'm sorry. I know that you guys wanted me to drive a train again as well at some point. I haven't forgotten about that. I stopped doing them on purpose? Well, why? It, it, everyone having a good time, so I'm like, no. <laughs> No having fun. Try to keep up with it. That's very sweet of you, Rias. You know, your support is always appreciated. That's very kind. More Bible Man? You want to watch Bible Man again? Only for Furiosa, but Furiosa was killed. Like, Bible Man, like, made him explode with Bible verse. I think Furioso might actually be canon dead. Like, he, he's, he's gone. Like, that wasn't a show. That was, like, real. He actually died. Into the Bible verse. <laughs> We didn't watch any of the TV show, though. In the TV show, Bible Man, he has shiny armor, and he rides a motorcycle. Because everyone knows that's what cool people do, right? <laughs> Spider genius. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I wish that studio made more movies. Uh, do you remember the one we watched that was um, about Dungeons and Dragons? And they said it was evil. And they were using Dungeons and Dragons in the college basement to summon Cthulhu. <laughs> do you remember that? That was an awesome movie. Like, it's evil. It's so many Not even how you summon Cthulhu. They were doing it with Dungeons and Dragons. I always remember that line from the girl where she's like, I stab him with my blade. I'm chaotic neutral. <laughs> it's like, it's like, girl, chill. It's okay. <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral. I stab him with my dagger. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Star Ratopia. I love doing these. Like I say, these are like my favorite streams 
of the week, because we all get to draw together. I really like him. What was the name of that movie? I can... Oh, God. Let me try and find it for you. Because there was, there was a scene in, in the movie where... Um, she died playing Dungeons and Dragons, so she had to die in real life. Because they, they said that the game was really real. I think it's called... Is it this one? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's called Dark Dungeons. That's the name of the movie. People on, people on YouTube have like done like... You know those film analysis things where they poke fun at it and stuff? There's loads of them on YouTube, so if you just search, like, Dark Dungeons D&D movie, there'll be a lot of... You'll probably be able to watch the whole thing on YouTube, probably. Fuck it, it's incredible. It's, it's really, it's really, really good. In like, it's one of those, like, it's so bad that it's good. It's one of those. It's amazing. We watched it on a Patreon stream and it was incredible. <laughs> oh, God, God bless La Friorioso. I hope he's okay. Boop, 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 boop. Salsa is the dance of the... Apparently so. Is it because he, like, wiggles his hips? Awesome! Whoa! I don't even know where that one came from. Isn't that pretty? Is that like a Cyclops pooch? I love how the uh, hair's all shiny. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah, we did watch Ve Veggie Tales. Was funny. I like the one about the uh, traveling to the promised land with the uh, like potato guy. And yeah, and Thomas getting bricked up in the wall. And you guys were all shocked that the uh, Sir Topham hat didn't let him out. It's because, like, he didn't learn his lesson. You don't learn, you don't come out of the tunnel. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm sorry. No, you're going to live there forever. <gasps> no! Yeah, where is my hairbrush? The peach had it with his gorgeous head of hair. That was his name, Larry. Yeah, I, Larry's my favourite one. I like him. Like, the other ones are cool, but I think Larry's my favourite one. Who did Rock Rough Star at Toby? That was some. And some some does the cutest little rock rough. So I'm like, oh, it's a fiber. I don't even know what color. What color am I drawing in? What color is that? Is that green? Or is it brown? Dogs with jobs descended into chaos. It's because I told chat about my fears and they were like, oh, let's draw them. <laughs> You're frightened of this, are you? It's time for some exposure therapy. <laughs> Ground. Oh, that's really good. You guys are really good at drawing those uh, vegetables with legs. That's really cool. It's a brownish green? I didn't even realize.
Is Rockruff... You want to see the Rockruff? That is over here. Oh, hold on. It says it's loading. It's on this one. Hold on. This is Rockruff. And some drawn Rockruff as a... Like a little male man. And I thought that was really cute looking. Oh, guys, it, it, like I say, if you draw dogs, I'm just fair. I'm just, oh, I'm so impressed. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. Is that King Poach? I like him. Oh, Lemony, that's, oh my God, a dog that owns a pet shop. That's a really cool idea. Oh, that's adorable. Page four, pony, hold up. Let's come over and have a look. We'll do three and four. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Business. He says sales are down. I ate the reports. I'm sorry. I love the term business. Oh yeah, right, let's go on number four too. Oh yeah, there's ponies poaches. Oh, they do look cute. Oh, you guys have been busy. Oh my god, look at all this. Oh my god. You guys have been very busy. Oh wow, his business is up. He's doing good. He's like stonks. He's doing really well. Their names on the Pokemon. Play them. Oh yeah, Pooper and Wiper. Yeah, that is canon. But they are called Pooper and Wiper. <laughs> you are not being deceived. Did you guys see? I don't know if this was like real news or what, but that Shigeru Miyamoto's not going to do another Zelda game. He's going to let someone else do it. Good for him. Yeah, I mean, it's not as if he's... Uh... It's not as if he hasn't made any good ones, is it? He's, he's made a few. I wonder if he'll stop making Mario ones, then. Like, I, I wonder if this is him hinting at retiring. I think he'll be like, uh, what's his name? Miyazaki. I think he'll say that he is retiring. Then it's like, ah, let's just do one more. And it's like, ah, let's just do another one. Ah, let's do one more. Oh yeah, and oh stretch, yeah, that's a good call. Because you guys have been drawing with me for two hours. I bet you've been sat like a shrimp the whole time as well. Guys, if Shigeru Miyamoto phoned you up and was like, do you want to make the next Zelda game? What would what would you make it about? He's like he's like you're the only person for the job. A crossover with Pokemon? You know what I what I would do? Although it, it, I guess it's kind of fan fiction-y. I would want it to be where um because like in you know in Ocarina a time where he's a kid and he grow well he he grows up, but you know. He starts off as a kid and gets older. 
I would want it to be that, like, as it as a kid, he's friends with Ganondorf, and like, Link becomes like the big hero, and Ganondorf's like jealous because he wanted to be the big hero, and then he turns bad. It's like a uh, it's like lovers to enemies, maybe. Yeah, friends to enemies, <laughs> lovers to enemies. Well, they. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, they could be lovers, maybe. I don't know why lovers to enemies came first. <laughs> oh, is that Kingdom Hearts? Has it already been still? I would, if it was Zelda, I'd still do it. Barton in molasses. The fan Navi's like, no, stop it. Friends to enemies to lovers. <gasps> Like when he's defeated Ganondorf, Link leans over to see if he's dead and Ganondorf gives him a kiss. He goes, gotcha. <laughs> Love us to enemies, your subconscious is showing. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know any of these fan fiction tags. It's you guys that teach me about all this fan fiction stuff. It ain't me. Hello, Voltron. How are you doing? Oh, no, it's good. Don't worry. Now, if you accidentally fill it in, you're fine. Don't worry. We're all well read. Is that what you call it? What's my AO th AO3? Is that the fanfiction website? For oh my god, Sparkle, that's your exercise for the day. <laughs> oh my god, you don't have to do no more. And can you imagine that if they release like a Zelda game and there's a scene in the trailer where Ganondorf and Link are holding hands walking towards, I don't know, the Triforce or something like that. People would lose their minds. They'd be like, what does this mean? I would not want to be on the internet after that. What? Because you know, like, um, Ganondorf, he's, like, raised by uh, Gerudo, isn't he? Like, the women tribe. And he was like, I was raised by women my entire life. But when I saw you, Link, I felt something deep down that I'd never felt before. And Link's just like... <laughs> he grunts at him. Oh! It's like, oh, Link, I love it. You have such a way with words. <laughs> well, you said you didn't read, but I just made that up. Make sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sparkle. I'll take it. Thank you. I'm on the water today. I'm a good boy. Fanfic writer. Me. Is that how I'll become like known throughout the ages? Uh, doing fan fictions? Link and, si Link and Sidon's too easy though. Sidon lays it on so heavy, doesn't he? He's always like, Link, you're my bestest friend. And I commissioned someone to have a statue made of us because I'm totally not secretly in love with you. And he's always holding his hands like he totally wants him. The thing is with Ganondorf as well, that could be like forbidden love because he's like the bad guy. 
You guys totally strike me as the kind of people that read forbidden love fan fictions. It's, oh, it's so juicy! They're not allowed to be in love, but they're fighting against it because love will prevail. That's so. That's so you. And that's like Steph as well. She'd be into that too. Sounds like a compliment. <laughs> So you? What do you mean, so you? Angsty juice. Oh, and there needs to be a misunderstanding as well at some point. We love those. You, you, we've talked about it before, you know, when they have like a misunderstanding. They only hear half of a conversation and they think like the person hates them, but they actually don't. I feel like you like him. Do I like Ganondorf? I think Ganondorf's cool. I always loved his Nintendo 64 design because they gave him like that really big strong nose. That was his best design in all honesty. Tears of the Kingdom. He looks alright in Tears of the Kingdom, yeah. He's sexy when he's not a pig. I like his bit. Why do you... Why, where have you guys got the term Big Naturals from? Where have you guys learned that? Where have you been hanging out on the internet? Places and see. Oh, I drop it. That checks out. Tumblr? Is that. Oh, God. Guys, if after this stream I go on Tumblr and I search for Big Naturals, I'm not going to be upset, am I? He's got. Has Ganondorf got a lot of goal power? Don't get caught into my chaos dirt site. <laughs> if you go on Tumblr, it's your own fault. <laughs> Tumblr's not that bad these days, is it? I heard that it was uh, kind of cool again these days. They've banned a... Oh, I thought they... I thought that's why it was doing well again, is because they allowed, like, uh, 18 plus stuff. But they, they said no again. Yeah, did it ban it again? Because I thought, like, um, they did originally not allow. Then they said that you can, and then that sort of got a resurgence again. I think that's why, isn't that why, like, people were going back to it? Because they could upload all their spicy art to it and stuff. Something did sneaky with AI, and they made it so AI could... Oh, really? I can't believe some of the stuff, you know, I, um... I went to DeviantArt the other day, just to have a look around. And at the, to at the top of DeviantArt's front page, they were promoting their own AI thing. Isn't that, isn't that ridiculous? Of all the places you'd expect it not to be. And so, and they gave it some like kind of pretentious arty name. Like, didn't they call it like Dreams or something like that? So, oh yeah. I'm really hoping that the whole AI thing is just like how it was with those monkey pictures. I can't remember what the term was, but that was just a trend. Like when all the money of it just 
faded out, everyone gave up. So I'm hoping that's the case with uh, these as well. Tends to be the case with the with all the tech bro stuff. As soon as the money's gone, like all the interest goes away. You think it needs moderation? Yeah, and laws. Well, that's it. As soon as they bring in laws into it um, and make it illegal, because and say that it's theft, they won't be able to train it off anything. So that that would kill it off. You liked it when it was bad? Oh, like when Cursed Will Smith was eating spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> Wait for it to cool down, Will. Oh, that's hot spaghetti. All of you guys are so good at drawing, like, cursed Furbies. Can you just draw loads of those to, like, poison the AI? So every time, like, it tries to make, like, an anime girl with massive boobs, it, it has, like, um, a, a long Furby face or something. You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Oh, I had an idea that I thought was cute. Guys, don't make this weird. I was gonna have a character. I was gonna have them like with the dog leash thing. Don't make it weird. I thought it was cute, but then I realized who I'm streaming with. Don't make it weird. Do 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 do. I thought that would have been cute, but no. It's <laughs> like, oh, no! You're the one looking at boobs on Twitter. That's, f hey. I have no, I have no defense. <laughs> it is, it's a fashion accessory. Thank you, Flappy. See, Flappy gets it. Thank you, Flappy. Oh, thank you, Lago. Oh, you guys. You're just teasing. <gasps> oh my god, is is it is it him? Is it the ridiculously handsome boy that's gonna be from a lover to an enemy? Oh, your Lagos pugging. Puggers. <laughs> the other way around, coffee. No, in my in my version of Zelda, they like Ganondorf totally had a crush on Link, but never told him. And when Link becomes the hero of time or whatever, Ganondorf's like so jealous. He becomes like a bad guy. Look at you guys. All of you guys are so thirsty. Look at this. <laughs> yes! You're like diving headfirst into the thirst trap. <gasps> He's got a beard. Link's like, oh, you've got some of the, uh, the dinner I made for you in your beard. You have a schmutz. Oh my god. Like, it was a KFC deep fryer. <laughs> you guys.
You're not ashamed? No, you shouldn't be ashamed. Boys liking boys, there ain't no problem with that in my opinion. We support boys loving boys in this house, don't we? I drew doggy. I drew doggy gal. Did you where? Oh wow! Oh my God, Lego! Did you do this one? Yeah, <gasps> she looks like a bad girl. She smoked. <gasps> she smokes too. Oh man, she's too cool. I won't be able to talk to her. What if she thinks I'm lame? She likes girls. Girl fails? <laughs> what, did she watch videos of girls falling over? <laughs> is that what a girl fail is? <laughs> what, what is a girl fail? Is that when you try to make a girl dinner and you drop it or something? She like dork. So you're saying there's a chance. The opposite of a girl bus. A girl failure. <laughs> oh no, she can't be a girl failure. No. Oh, it's really cool design though, that is. I think that's really sweet. I love the brush and like the texture and stuff that you've done as well. It's awesome. Oh, you're welcome, Lego. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're an example of you're not a g no one's a failure no no one's a failure oh yeah if we have the mouth open we could do like little mouth little t little teeth Success oh it's like that Windows thing where it says task failed successfully. <laughs> oh my god, gay. Do you think, guys, would Ganondorf be a bottom? Do you think... <laughs> Ganon bottom. <laughs> bottom door. <laughs> Link screams. Bottom. You reckon? I'm not drawing. <laughs> it's, someone's putting their foot down. I'm not drawing that. <laughs> Look, some's all right for them. They're they're just they're just talking. Look, they're in a loud environment and they're just talking closely because it's loud. Link's like, I'm gonna defeat you. Ganon's like, come closer. It's very loud in my lair. And gets up really close to him. He goes, and Ganondorf says, prove it, boy. He's like, oh. <laughs> Everyone's pugging. Oh, no worries, Fappy. It was lovely to have you with us. You have some nice. You go have some nice food. I appreciate it. Doo -doo. 
I don't know, I can't, I don't like that face, I don't like the, well, the face is okay, I just don't like the mouth. Oh my god, you know how, like, um, it's really cliche to say, like, oh, what do you enjoy? It's like, oh, I like long walks. Like, because she's a dog, she actually would like long walks. No, I like long walks on the beach and, you know, chasing things, retrieving things. Yeah. <laughs> Investigating sudden sounds. Ganondorf has the, um, he has the tripods of power, doesn't he? But it's the, he has the tripods of being a power bottom. <laughs> Ganondorf, he, he like, tri he pretends to trip over and links in there with him. He pretends to trip over. He's like, oh no, I fell. <laughs> it's just presenting to him. Ganondorf, stop it. Oh dear Link, I've fallen. Yes, I'm like that. <laughs> I saw that. I've, oh yeah, I've fallen and I can't get up. Curse this giant Gerudo dumpy. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's like that. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow, Ganondorf's got a big ass. <laughs> oh my god. We love treading nearby. I think like cartoon butts are okay. You know, if it's just like two lines, I think you're cool with that. It's when you start drawing stuff that's nestled between the cheeks. That's that's when you start getting in trouble. He drew it back. It was there for like ten seconds. Do, do, do. I work fast. <laughs> oh, so that's really cute looking. It looks like they're having a cuddle. Link's like, I can hear your heartbeat. It's a little fast, Gan, and he's like, shut up. Awesome, too. Ultra, that looks awesome. And Lemony, that's really cool as well. Oh, my God. Hog. <laughs> oh, you just better. Oh, God, we go. You can hear the heartbeat of me. Yeah, it's like, gee, get, get off my chest. God. Get off get off my boobs. Oh, you're welcome, Bullfrog. No problem. Mm. 
What if it's a doctor? I'd be worried about the doctor's credentials if he gets the stethoscope and he's like, I can hear your heart. It's like, yeah, well done. <laughs> it looks like you're not dead. Doctors are just, he's just taking pride in his work. He's like, oh my god, I found your pulse. Oh, wait until my wife hears about this. <laughs> calls, up his, calls up his wife. I did it. Honey, I did it. I found a pulse. Well done, dear. Oh, sparkle. That, look at the hair on that. That's awesome. Another heart successfully. He's got the stethoscope on your foot. <laughs> Where is it? And such cool hair, oh my god. Right, my chickadees. The time has come for me to run away. This thing will still be live, though. If you want to keep drawing when uh, the stream's off, this will still work. So thank you for joining me on a special Dog Switch Up stream. I do appreciate it. Um, I will do my best to do an extra stream where we'll play Pokemon then or something like that. Because uh, I didn't realize that you guys missed it. So I'll tag you in Discord if I do. So enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you again very soon, okay? Bye-bye!